Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. While most of us can't stand creepy crawlers such as spiders and cockroaches on land, there are some monsters in the sea that are truly terrifying. These monsters are known as crustaceans, the critters of the sea. Some of them boast giant pincers, strong enough to rip your fingers off, and others are so poisonous, they can kill you in less than 10 minutes from a single sting. With this in mind, let's take a look at 10 crustaceans you never want to come across while exploring the ocean. Stick around to the end to find out which crustacean can live up to 100 years. Yes, you heard right, 100 years! Number 10. The Coconut Crab the coconut crab is so monstrous and intimidating that the famous naturalist Charles Darwin had quite the strong disliking for it. Well, considering it looks like something right out of a horror novel, we can't really blame him. This massive crab can grow over three feet long and is believed to be the largest living arthropod capable of living on land. What's even more frightening is that scientists strongly believe that these titans could have been responsible for the mysterious disappearance of the aviation pioneer Amelia Earhart. Yeah, there's a possibility that they might have eaten her body and dragged her bones down into their dens. The coconut crab is a truly intimidating crustacean. Aside from its domineering size, this crab is naturally juiced up and despite clocking in at no more than 9 pounds, it can lift up to 6 times its own body weight. No need for a gym membership, eh, big fella? As the name suggests, coconut crabs snack mainly on coconuts, and that's why they have such powerful claws. They can knock coconuts from branches, then dismantle the hard shells with their pincers. But during the dry season, when coconuts are few and far between, these voracious scavengers will eat anything and everything and, to some extent, hunt. In fact, scientists were shocked to discover that these crabs actually attack and kill birds resting in treetops. In a graphic, violent scene, the crabs were observed to break a bird's wings using their pincers, then drag them down to their underground burrows. Now, if that doesn't scare you spineless, I don't know what else will. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. The Colorful Mosaic Crab At number 9, we have another crab on our list, but this fella right here comes in a pint-sized version. He's a member of the Xanthidae family, a group of crabs that love to live in coral rubble or living near reefs. Despite their small size, they have an elongated fan-shaped body full of red color, with impressive mosaic patterns that add credence to its name. They also have black tips at the end of their pincers that easily distinguish them from other poisonous crabs. I mean, you can spot this guy from miles away. So what makes them so dangerous? Well, according to different studies, these guys have a high concentration of lethal toxins in the gut, as well as another toxin in their shell called saxitoxin. The toxin is so powerful that gram for gram, it is 1,000 times more deadly than cyanide. If you cook this fella thinking you have a tasty delicacy of crab, think again. You might just find yourself paralyzed, and before you know it, heading straight to the morgue. Number 8. Isopods Isopods are truly terrifying creatures. It's not so much their size, but rather how they feed on other animals in the deep blue sea. Take for example the case of a large isopod that was found burrowing into a fish's tongue and eating it to the point where it actually took the place of the tongue. Interestingly, the fish is able to survive the experience with no apparent harm other than the loss of its tongue to the parasite. But if you're human, you probably wouldn't want your tongue completely eaten out, would you? It's not exactly the conversation starter. And the horror doesn't end there. In 2017, the world went crazy over the case of a 16-year-old boy from Australia called Sam Canizé, who had his legs devoured by a swarm of scavenging isopods on Brighton Beach. Of course, it just had to be Australia. Number 7. Lobsters Don't be fooled by the delicious red delicacy sitting before you on your plated red lobster. Lobsters are no pushovers. 
Their claws are powerful enough to crush bone and can cause serious lacerations to the skin. But the worst part about the lobster pinch is not so much the pain, rather the unfolding events after the pinch. You see, lobsters consume plenty of dead remains on the ocean floor, thereby accumulating a large concentration of toxic bacteria. Their pinches can therefore lead to the development of a nasty infection if not treated. Like a welt the size of a grape that's hard, tender, and red-hot to the touch, the pinched spot will start oozing a nasty putrid pus. And if you poke it, it will eject a horrendous, smelly, and sticky substance that stinks up the doctor's office for days. Plus, that's not particularly eventful for a first date, right? Number 6. Dungeness Crab In December of 2020, the California Fish and Game Commission recently banned crab fishing until further notice, after detecting high levels of a neurotoxin in Dungeness crabs. The toxin, which is known as demoic acid, is produced by certain variations of planktonic algae, eaten by crabs, which then becomes concentrated in the tissues of these crabs during plankton blooms. People who consume sufficient quantities of the toxin develop amnesic shellfish poisoning, so named because it kills neurons in the part of the brain that is critical for memory. No wonder that's why I couldn't remember a single answer to a test I did a few summers ago after going on a Dungeness binge. Okay, just kidding. Honestly though, don't go eating Dungeness crabs during any month having the letter R in it. Number 5. The Pistol Shrimps If you think that Clint Eastwood is the greatest gunslinger of all time, then you clearly haven't visited the deepest ocean depths. Yep, the OG real-life gunslinger has to be the Pistol Shrimp aka the Snapping Shrimp, or as I like to call them, the baddest mofos in the West to ever do it. Don't mind me, I've been binging a lot of wild westerns lately. Anyways, these crustaceans have an enormous claw that they use to fire bullets of bubbles at their foes, knocking them out cold or even killing them. The resulting sound is an incredible 210 decibels far louder than an actual gunshot, which averages around 150. Pound for pound, the pistol shrimp is the most powerful critter on Earth. And trust me when I say, you wouldn't want to get hit with one of those bubbles. Number 4. Cone Snail When thinking about the most dangerous sea creatures, snails are quite unlikely to come to mind. And that's why this creature right here might come as a surprise to many. Cone snails are only 10 to 15 centimeters long and look quite innocent, but a single drop of their venom is said to be enough to kill 20 men. If you're an enthusiastic shell collector, we recommend that you handle these fellows with care. Cone snails are far from aggressive chasers, but rather harpoon their prey with hollow teeth and inject lethal venom through. Cone snails can be found in the deep reef waters all the way from the Indian and Pacific Oceans to the Caribbean and Red Seas and also along the coast of Florida, but the ones lurking in the Indo-Pacific region tend to have more harmful toxins than others. We recommend not trying your luck anywhere collecting these creatures though. The nickname for cigarette snail is derived from the fact that after a sting, you'll have just enough time to smoke a cigarette before you die. Number 3. Mantis Shrimp At first sight, the peacock mantis shrimp might not appear intimidating, quite the reverse in fact. Its shell is a stunning kaleidoscope of green, orange, blue, and red, while leopard-like spots adorn its legs. Native to coral reefs and other shallow water habitats in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, the species grows to no more than 7 inches long and weighs around 0.6 kilograms. That's about as heavy as a basketball. But it's a highly aggressive, territorial creature, and doesn't take kindly to strangers invading the nooks and crevices of its burrows. Folded away beneath its body is a pair of lethal, club-like front legs called dactyls. If threatened, the peacock mantis shrimp can whip out these appendages at speeds of 75 feet per second. That's 50 times faster than the blink of an eye, or about the same as a trajectory of a 22 caliber bullet. And while it might not kill you, it will certainly leave you with a sore spot that needs treatment for days.
So now we've come to the best pick of the day. Not only is the size of this crab intimidating, but it has another secret that will no doubt surprise you. Hint? Well, it's got a gift that every human yearns to have. Find out next because it's our top pick. Number 2. The Remipede In 2013, researchers discovered the first known venomous crustacean, the Remipede, a tiny centipede look-alike that lives in several underwater caves around the world. Upon closer inspection of these tiny but formidable specimens, the researchers noticed that these creatures possessed needle-like front claws. The hollow claws led to a venom gland, which produces a neurotoxin similar to that of some spiders. The remipede literally breaks down body tissues with its venom and then sucks out a liquid meal from its prey's exoskeleton. It remains unknown if the remipede venom would have any lethal effect on a curious diver poking at the tiny creature. But have I ever come across one though? I hope I'm not the one who finds out. Number 1. Japanese Spider Crab Remember our best pick of the day? Well, it's none other than the Japanese Spider Crab, and it's what you get when you let nature play in god mode. First of all, the legs of the Japanese spider crab are very spindly and muscular. They don't often hunt their prey, but they can move quickly when needed thanks to their long legs, and are able to kill smaller animals with ease because of it. Their claws are also strong and large enough to pry open mussels and clams in order to get to the tasty creature inside. So, with this in mind, you can imagine how and why these crabs would be dangerous if handled incorrectly. Oh, and did I mention that it can live up to a century? So yeah, these guys can live long enough to hunt your children and your grandchildren in their dreams. But with that being said, we've come to the end of this video. I bet you won't be stepping anywhere near an ocean soon, right? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to show this channel some love and support by leaving a like on this video.